And we welcome you live inside the Rivets Rundown. This is episode five. The Rivets Rundown has been your source for anything, everything that you could want with the Rockford Rivets. I'm Craig Combs. He's Parker Peril. Parker, how are you doing this week? I'm doing good. I sorry, I was just thinking about not one, not two, not three, not four, but five episodes of the rivets rundown podcast it's great to be here great to be back and as you notice i feel like i feel like i'm always on the road i feel like i'm always doing this uh this show from a different location each episode uh fi- finally back in uh alabama to uh record but no matter the distance even though i'm a little bit closer we still manage to get the out these episodes because we have some pretty i wouldn't say breaking because the news has already been broken but if you if you're not really in tune to the rivets news that's why you tuned in here. We have some wonderful information to break down. But before we get to that, Craig, how are you doing? Uh, you know what? I'm doing really good. But, you know, I, I'm listening. I'm sitting here and listening to music. And, like, this song just comes on. And, like, it means more to me right now than you'll ever understand. And and, and all I have to say with that is time zones. Because we, episode five, but episode one through four you and I were dealing with time zones with me in the Eastern time zone, everyone that we were talking to in the central time zone and you, which I'm jealous, but you all the way out in Phoenix, Arizona (laughs) in the Pacific time zone. But no, Parker, you are, you're back home in sweet home, Alabama. How are you doing man? Oh man, it's great. There's, you know, there's a lot of nostalgia here for me, but I I truly love Alabama. I truly do. There's few places that beat it. Um, Really humid right here at the moment. It's going to stay that way. For those who haven't been to Alabama, one of the most humid places on the planet, I swear. It's up there with a the rainforest. But, you know, it is great down here. Great down here. Enjoying it so far. So You know what? People in Rockford, Illinois, they may not know exactly because, you know, there's a difference between Midwest heat and Southern heat, especially oh. in the summertime. But there, people in Rockford can relate to, to, the, to the humidity because it is pretty humid in 815 in the summertime. But, yeah, like. I have to know, you know, you're back home in Alabama, you've been gone for a while. You've been been in, at, at Arizona State doing your thing. Uh, first home cooked meal when you as soon as you got home, what, what was your mom waiting to cook for you? Because, I mean, come on, man, like there's always got to be that first home cooked meal. There's always a lot. Um, we went out. We actually went out for at Mexican last night because there's a good uh, there's a good place on our way home. But if I if I'm being honest, something that we what we do sometimes is uh, or we did last year. Uh, that's really oh that it's like perfect is like a crawfish boil go get crawfish take it home and it's it's more like a heat up type situation because they always they they have it in the broth but we did it last year oh my gosh there is there is just no beating that um but honestly i can't wait to bake you know at college there's no oven i love i love baking stuff 815 if you if you ever need any bread let me know i will be i'll be in the kitchen baking some some mad pretzel buns. It'll be crazy. And, and I'll be gaining my summer 15 eating it. So <laughs> uh no, hey man, it's it's been it's been a good week. It's finals week. Well, it, it's still finals week for me. You're done with finals now. Uh just kind of finishing up. But yeah, like we talked about uh some breaking news. We didn't get to break this news this time. No Craig bombs for you out there, but uh share with our listeners what happened this week. I, I mean, a whole lot of monkey business, like there's a lot going on. Yeah, people went absolutely bananas over this new news coming out. And I hope you're ready for those puns. I've been working on a list of puns we can do during the broadcast. It's going to, I hope people are ready for like at least 10 puns a frame. Like it, it's going to be crazy out there. But they're going to create a, at the end of the season, the Northwoods League does uh, awards for the broadcast that, uh, that we're going to be doing this, uh, this summer. Uh, they're going to create a new one this year and it's going to be the Pun King Award and which team is going to have the best puns. And I mean, we're going to create the award and we're going to get the first award ourselves. <laughs> yeah, from, from the two games that we're going to do covering the Screw City Sock Monkeys, we're going to have so many puns, but you are right there. What nights What nights are they doing the Screw City Sock Monkeys this year? July 20th and July 27th, two great games on the docket. And the Screw City Sock Monkeys, a.k.a. the Rockford Rivets, are going to be suiting up in the, uh, the powder blue, yellow, and red, and it's going to be great. It is going to be great. And uh, Craig, you saw the, I'm pretty sure you saw the reveal. What, what's your thoughts of the uniform, the hats, the logo, the secondary logo? Well, what's your thoughts on all that? Because they, they had a great reveal. 
Uh, I mean, we'll we'll start the puns with a pun. And I mean, our front office hit it out of the park. And two things right off the bat: the sock monkey design, absolutely incredible, uh, hilarious. Uh, and I think the the fans of Rockford are going to love seeing those not only on the field, but the opportunity right now. They're doing a pre-sale. You can go buy some of that merchandise, T-shirts, hats, uh, with sock monkeys all over it. But and you have to. I mean, obviously, get your opinion on this. But like, there, there's nothing that says old school like powder blue. And the fact that they could have chose any color to go as the backdrop with the sock monkey, and it would have been just fine, and we would have loved it. But man. The throwback 1970s powder blues <laughs> are going to look incredible, especially under the lights in Rockford. Oh, it's it's going to be a great look. But as you said, I still can't get over this logo. Everything looks great. The uniform looks great. The hats, I personally love the hats because I don't know why the hats just look like uh, it kind of looks, you know, like how sometimes a sock monkey has a hat, like it's a uh, red, white, and red on top, like yep. a little pom-pom. That's exactly how the hat looks. A red bill white top and then a red like little i don't even know what the top of a hat's called but it's red and it's it like looks that little exactly, ball that goes on top right yeah it's like a little poof ball <laughs> and it that's exactly what the hat looks like except with the sock monkey logo and oh just such a great job the logo looks perfect carrying around a screw that looks like a baseball bat and then another screw and a scott sock monkey with glasses it's it, it is one of the top tier logos and that that's what i keep hearing like I was talking to people about it and people people have been wanting me to kind of be like a dealer. They've been wanting me to like buy sock monkey merch, stock up and then sell it. But I'm like, you got you got to you got to get some of your own out there. You got to get some of your own. Hey, you know what you got to do? You got to you got to text Ainsley and you got to ask her to get a promo code. Hashtag primetime monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> and when hey, when, when your friends and family get it, then you get you know, you get some dollars along the way. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And speaking of Ainsley, she went on the news and not only she killed it on the news, covered everything that you have to know. If you haven't seen that, if you haven't seen that clip, I would highly recommend it. I'll put it in the description of this video. And she absolutely killed it covering it. So I suggest watching it. But yeah, with that out of the way, sock monkeys. Well, I think before we delve in deep we should just say what a goaded name for those who don't know sock monkeys originated in rockford illinois so a lot of history from the city of rockford and just what a great name like the sock monkeys it just it instills fear in the enemy while it also mentions that you're gonna have a fun time you're gonna monkey around and it's just a fun name that i feel like everybody can get behind even if you're rooting for the other team you can't root against the sock monkey yeah, for those two nights, we're going to literally cute the opponents to death. Like, we're going to cute them to death with the sock monkey outfits. I'm not joking you. And I heard a rumor that there might be an actual sock monkey mascot out there that night, which, mm. I, I mean, I, I got to get a picture with that. So Now, now if, you, if you believe the rumors, I saw a couple pictures online of what might have been a leaked, you know, uh, what might have been a leaked mascot. So if you want to do your own sleuthing, your own looking up, I feel like, that 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 mascot's out there, and may I say, it's a, it's a it's a pretty good one. It's up there. I I did see it in the, in the promotional video, which you can go to Rock the Rockford Rivets page on Facebook and check that out. Yeah, uh, a massive leak that was posted on the Rockford. Yeah, <laughs> it's is it a leak if you're the one posting it or you're the one opening the faucet up? But uh, I, I I did look that up for you, and on, also on that Facebook page or on the Rockford Rivets Facebook page, you can see the the clip with Ainsley on W. Uh, rex 13 uh she was on the morning uh show the other what was it wednesday morning may 1st she was on there uh you can go ahead and check that out on the page as well but i did some looking for you i did some checking for you and the the sock monkey you mentioned 1930s it was from the nelson knitting company it was first produced here in rockford at the rockford red heel socks in 1932 uh and the iconic sock monkey monkey featuring the bright red lips is made from these red heeled socks now Interesting fact, the Rockford or the, the Nelson Knitting Company, I also found some more information about them. They created or they made the socks for both teams in the 1973 Super Bowl. So you think about Nike, you think about Under Armour, you think about all the major brands that have provided for the Super Bowl. The 1973 Super Bowl, all the socks were made by the Nelson Knitting Company in Rockford, Illinois, which I thought was crazy. So that is crazy. That is a crazy little history bomb right there from uh, Craig Combs. And 
feel like uh, also when we mention the name Screw City Sock Monkeys, Screw City, I mean, it's a no-brainer. You're the rivets. It, ha it has that alliteration with the Sock Monkeys, but I feel like there's always been a hesitancy to go with Screw City just because... You know, like some people are like, is screw like, is it a proper word? But I, I, I love the the um, I get I guess just the front office and whoever's in charge of it to just say, nah, we're going to do it. Screw city sock monkeys. And boy, does that roll off the tongue? Well, and for people that don't know. Yeah. And in, in other places that screw city may sound, you know, like the incorrect verbiage, if you will, for the name of a team. But at one point in time, you know, Rockford, Illinois was the largest producer of screws in the world. So if you were getting screws between, you know, the early thirties to 50s, 60s, you were getting screws, nails, bolts, nuts, all of that. Hey, rivets, if you want, uh, made in Rockford, Illinois, and they were coming from Rockford. And so it fits perfectly, not only, you know, with the city and the history of the city, but also with this team and the blue collar mentality that the rivets are starting to establish here in Rockford. Yeah, that, it absolutely does. And it's, it's such a great team name, such a great logo, such a great uniform. I can't wait to see them wheel them out there. And like I said, I'm going to repeat it again, just in case if you're just tuning in. July 20th and July 27th, you're going to want to be there. You're not going to miss it. I know so many people who I just mentioned this to who originally were like, ah, I don't know if I'll be able – I live in Arizona. I don't know if I'll be able to go to a game in Rockford. Sorry, man. And then I told them – about changing the name of the sock monkeys for two games. And then they're like, oh, I have to be there. Oh, I, I have to make that trip. And so I feel like th there's going to be a great crowd, great atmosphere, and even better, there's going to be a lot of great swag there. Yeah, and 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 also I've heard some rumblings. I don't know if there's any truth to it, but I've heard some rumblings that there's a lot of people that want them to change the name completely <laughs> to the Screw City Sock Monkeys. And hey, listen, I don't have any input. I, I, I don't. I don't think I'd complain about that if they, if they came out with the sock monkeys every night and the powder blues every other game. Come on now, it, it would be a really cool alternate. But it, it's hard to just uh, the rivets rolls off the tongue. But you know, democracy. Put it to a vote. That's all I'm saying. Put it to a vote. It would be very hard for me because I love the golden black, and I'm not going to complain about golden black because huge fan of a little bit of golden black. Uh, also wanted to also add on top of this too. Wanted to shout out Sir Yacht. Uh, in all of the monkey madness and in all of this uh, craziness of releasing the, uh, the alternate jerseys this year, um, we did uh, have some social media presence with this release. And I'll, we wanted to shout out Sir Yacht, uh, who shouted us out uh, on, on his socials here this week. Uh, he also, uh, you mentioned that, that white hat with the sock monkey on the front of it. Uh, the, uh, the fine people here in Rockford decided to uh, send some swag out to uh, Sir Yacht, and so he was rocking that hat and also the uh, the patch that's going to go on the jersey as well. So I want to give him a shout-out, too, and thank you for uh, for posting that out there for uh, for all your followers as well. Yes, I can't thank those uh, influencers enough. There's a lot of there's a lot of those channels out there that cover, like, the secondary logos and, like, oh, well, not the secondary, the secondary team logos, minor league teams, fun nicknames in sports, especially in baseball. And I've seen a lot of love from channels that I personally followed that are just like, hey, Sock Monkey's incoming. So it's great to see that kind of support. Yeah, and the, I know that uh, MILB, uh, they they have a, a promo social media page set up. They've been kind of blasting all these out. You know, the, it's the time of year for all of the other teams in the Northwoods League to release their secondary uniforms as well. But uh, MILB has kind of been helping blast out those promos, and they were able to do that for the Rockford Rivets as well. So thank them as well. Uh, they do a really nice job of uh, – getting the good word out of all these uh, cool alternate jerseys. And we've seen some good ones this year so, so far. And, and Rockford, uh, better late than never, it was nice for them to show up to the party. And I think they made, they made a nice debut. Oh, I feel they, they made a great debut. And I can't wait to see them wheel them out there. Uh, we're going we're gonna to touch up more on the Sock Monkeys probably before we uh, conclude this episode. But there's also a lot of promotional nights and another secondary uniform night. And... Something tells me it, it's it's going to be one of those big – it's going to be another big night. It's going to be another home run, another pun. And I can't wait for the Rockford Peaches. What? What? What are you – what is going on here? I thought we were on the same team, my friend. You, I, know, you, know, you know something that I don't know? It's you, Parker Bomb, this week. What are, you, got, you have the promo list? Yeah, I, I have the promo list right here. I'm – Go down it. Let's see. Yeah, we got we got a lot. We of course we have opening day. 
And uh, second night, June 1st, I can't wait to see uh, Honky Tonk Night. I can't wait to see what people go out there. Post-game fireworks as well. That one's on my list. Uh, can't wait to do that one. Family Fun Day, Mini Rivet Night. So you can bring all your friends, all your mini rivets, I guess. The little I, kids, you gotta. It's for the oh, kids. Oh, oh! I thought I thought it's like take your own like mini rivet. <laughs> no, I, oh, my bad. Oh, hold on a second. Time out. So your idea is that the, the uh, every other seat is a fan, and they're bringing their personal little rivet with them, little little nut sitting in the seat. Come on, part. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, who who wouldn't want to do that? You know, it, not normally allowed. <laughs> you can't get you can't get them past the metal detectors. So just one game. Bring your own. You can bring your own rivets. I, I love that. Oh. I would I would hate to be an umpire on that night, knowing that the crowd there's two thousand people with just metal bolts in one, their hands. One bad call. One bad call. Just one. It only takes one. <laughs> only so what else? So we got many rivets night. What else? What after uh, many rivets night? There's Thirsty Thursday. Uh, Thirsty Thursday. Free stuff Friday. Military free appreciation night. Appreciation. Free stuff. Fr free stuff Friday. Yeah, free stuff Friday. First one thousand fans get a free Jordan Wicks calendar poster. Get a lot, and apparently for more free stuff. But hey, Jordan Wicks Jordan, poster. I wonder if Jordan will be there to sign it. Huh? I Maybe wonder. Autograph. I want one. I, I would want one too. We can hang it right. We we can hang it right behind you. You there, right over that Indiana th flag. Just yeah, right I'll go. There. Oh, it's flipped right there. Yep. Right. right there. The Illinois one's fine for today. Shout out, Coach Vibes. Good luck the rest of the season. But the Indiana one, we gotta get that one covered up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All I'm saying is if Purdue sends me one, I'll replace it, but they never sent me one. I will give you plenty. I will <laughs> give you. When I see you here in a couple of weeks in Rockford, I'll give you all your black and gold swag you need. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And then I, I don't want to interrupt this conversation, but stop the presses because there's going to be a dollar dog night. June 11th, dollar dogs, $1 hot dogs all oh. day long. I, I got I got I got scared there for a second. I thought we were selling dogs for a dollar dollar hot dog night, dollar, dollar glizzy night. Hot dog night. Dollar glizzies, man. They, I, there's no no better night in baseball. No hey, better night in baseball. Okay, so I I don't want to speak for you, so I'll ask cuz I mean might as well, but on dollar dog night, on on dollar hot dog night, do you want to do the 9 and 9 challenge with me while we're broadcasting the game? <laughs> Well, we, we, we just might. We just might. I feel. Oh, no, I'm going to. I'm just trying to see if you want to. Oh, you're just going to see if yeah. I do. Yeah, because I mean, I'm going to do. I, I I wanted to try it. And it's what better night to try it than dollar dog night? Because then I only have to spend nine dollars. I mean, if we're if we're going to be in the booth, then might as well. You know, if we're going to be in the same booth, might as well as uh, join on in peer pressure. Do you think do you think, though, if we do it, though, and, and no peer pressure, if you don't want to, I completely understand. But do you think that we could find some sort of charity that like. We'll donate a certain amount of money for each hot dog that we eat, and we can donate it to a local charity in Rockford. You think that would? Yeah. I. Who doesn't like charity? Hey, someone's gonna listen to this. <laughs> Ainsley, Steve, someone's gonna listen to this. Find Somebody's us a charity. Bound to listen. Yes, find us a charity, and it'll it'll be me and Parker, or just me, but one of us, possibly both of us, will do the nine and nine challenge. And we'll uh, we'll donate money to a charity in Rockford based off of how many dogs we finish. Absolutely, I, right. I would I would be fully down for that. And there there might be uh, there's a lot of free stuff Fridays. There might be another dollar dog night. So just keep that in the uh, keep that in mind. There might be. Um, either way, Bark in the Park is next. I, I'm always a big guy of Bark in the Park. I love to bring my dogs to. Uh, the old ballparks out here in Alabama on Bark in the Park. So that's going to be great. Love to see your furry friends. Uh, and then there's W uh, W R E X night. Uh, sorry, the font was a little low on that one. W R E X night. That's going to be a great one. $13 ticket with food and beverage voucher included. So that one's going to be a great one to go to. And then another -E -X, W R E X is getting some love this week. Oh, they, they yeah. absolutely are. They featured Ainsley on Wednesday and they get their own night. Are you kidding me? Shout out WREX Channel 13, local local news in Rockford. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Yep. And then there's another free uh, free stuff Friday as well. First 500 fans get a Rivets trucker cap. So mark your calendars for that one. Sponsored by w, WTVO ABC and then Fox 39. So that's going to be a great, great day as well. Free stuff. Sponsored by two great channels as well. Alert we're, making the, we're making the whole run. Oh. <laughs> we got all the local channels. 
Channel three, four, and five. Yeah, <laughs> they're all going to be there. Uh, quickly going through, there's Princess Night. Come see your favorite princesses post game. Another, uh, then there's going to be a superhero night, which I can't wait for. Big superhero guy myself. Princess Night see? followed by superhero. Uh, who's princess your superhero? superhero? No, well, well, princess too. But who's the superhero you want to see? Ah, uh, superhero man. If I had to pick a superhero to see. Uh, there's a lot. You know, my name's Parker, so Spider-Man's a little biased, but I do I do love me some Wolverine action. I love seeing Wolverine. Uh, I, I would go Wolverine, probably. Uh, any of the Avengers would be fine. I'm sure we'll see one or two of them out there on that night. Uh, an Incredible Hulk would be cool. Mm, that would be that'd be something to see. I can't wait to be there. I will definitely be there post-game trying to get an autograph. So, a little... Uh, I'm going to try and beat all those kids in line trying to get an autograph of Wolverine. So, Dude, I'm going to take the kids on the over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of angry parents. Uh, then another mini rivet Monday, which are kids, not rivets. We have we have we have clarified it is actual kids, uh, not 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 rivets. And then another free stuff Friday sponsored by WTVO, ABC and Fox 39. So need more cowbells. First 500 fans. We'll get cowbells. Get that's going to be here. crazy. Yeah. That's multi purpose, dude. You get the cowbell at the Rivets game, beat on it there. And then, like four months later, you can take it over to the BMO Harris Bank Center and you can do it for the Ice Hogs because they love cowbell too. It's yep. a it's a cowbell town, man. A lot of cowbell love. And then to end the month of June on, or maybe not to end the month of June, but near the end of the month of June, June 29th, the Kalamazoo Grizzlies come to town. Or the Kalamazoo Growlers, rather. It's a, it's a bear, Lido. It's <laughs> the Kalamazoo Growlers, and it's going to be Rockford Peaches night. They're going to not they're not going to be playing the Rivets. They're going to be playing the Peaches. So that one's going to be a game to see. There's going to be Batgirls. There's going to be post uh, post game fireworks. A lot of surprises. So keep that in mind. It's going to be a great day. It, they're going to play. They're going to play ninety year old women. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. There's a rumor that they might, but. I, I, I would I would put a bet on the Rockford Rivets actually playing. Oh, they're doing another Jersey night. Yeah. So you could go to their Facebook page at the Rockford Rivets, and you could also scroll down to about two weeks ago, and you can see the the reveal of the hat. Which, man, if you haven't seen it, go take a look. It's the Rockford Rivets are, but it's in the the, the historic red and white uh, from the Rockford Peaches. And I'm also I I can't wait for the Jersey reveal. I know that they were talking about releasing it closer to opening day. Uh, but I'm excited to see that jersey reveal too, because I mean, again, we're talking we're talking history today in the city of Rockford, and and nothing more historical than the Rockford Peaches. If you've seen the movie, you've heard the story, you've watched the show on Apple. Uh, I think it's on Apple, right? There's so many different ones. Yeah. Oh, there's there's yeah. so many. But you've watched the story, you've heard it, uh, and, and and it's going to be an awesome night on the 29th of June. Uh, and, and the Rockford Rivets will then, you know, for one night only or for that night, become the Rockford Peaches and wear Rockford Peaches themed Rivets jerseys. Uh, and I also uh, going to be some events out there. have to keep an eye on the socials to find out uh, as we get closer to the 29th. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be something to see. And I, I, for one who loved the movie, can't wait to be there. There's going to be such a great atmosphere. There's going to be a there. There will be a great crowd. I, there, I was going to say if. But there will be a great crowd. It's the Rockford Peaches. It's, yeah, it's the Rockford win. Peaches. It's uh, not, not to quote another movie, but if you build it, they will come. Yeah. I mean. Dude, you already got my vote for the Pun King Award of the Year. I'm serious. Like, you're yeah, just crushing it. it. it it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But to seriously in the month of June, there's going to be another family fun day, a lot of post-game autographs. There's going to be a kid zone. Another bark in the park shortly after. Then the 4th of July, there's going to be Spots sponsored by our good friends on Channel 13. There's going to be 4th of July fireworks, and it's going to be an extravaganza. And apparently the rumor is it's going to be the best fireworks show in the city of Rockford. So you're, you might want to go go out to the ballpark on that day. It would be, it would be a good idea to be there that night because uh, from what I've been hearing as well, it's going to be spectacular. And I'm excited that uh, you and I are going to get a front row seat. Yeah, it's going to be a great one. Then another family fun day, followed by another Rivets Monday on July 8th. Teacher A teacher appreciation night on July 9th. July 10th, another bark in the park. A lot of furry friends love coming on into the stadium, coming on into the bank, as we're going to call it. Then there's going to be a double header night on July 11th. So stay tuned for that one. There's going to be two games in one day. You get a two for. You get a two for one deal. 
And as we round out the middle of July, on July 15th, another mini rivet Monday, followed by July 18th, where it's going to be ladies night, half price margaritas for the ladies. Uh, who doesn't like half price marks? That's all I'm saying. Unfortunately, we don't qualify. However, got to got, got to get a little love there. Got to get a little love. There. Yeah, bring your ladies out on that night. It's going to be a good night. It is going to be a good night. I, for one, can't wait. Can't wait to see all, all that entails. And then on July 19th, another Free Stuff Friday, sponsored by WTVO ABC and Fox 39. First 500 fans get a free Rivets Mason Jar mug. I'm, yeah, I'm from Alabama. Love myself a Mason's Jar mug. It's going to be great. And then shortly following thereafter, it says it says on the schedule, surprise rebrand night. But spoilers, Screw City Sock Monkey is coming to town July 20th. And then July 21st, Family Fun Day, July 27th. We see the Screw City Sock Monkeys again. It, yeah, if, if you want it, if you want your sock monkeys and you didn't you missed it on the 20th, you can come back seven days later and you can see it all over again. Yep, it's gonna be a blast. It is gonna be a great night. Great night to go out there and support the Rockford Rivets. It's gonna be a great one. So many great nights. So we just ran through a list right there. And how many like highlight nights are there in there? Uh too many to count. Uh I my head's spinning just thinking about all of them. Uh I'm I'm excited to see all of the the mini rivets out on Monday nights. <laughs> the stadium will definitely be loud on that night in a different pitch, I'm sure, for the opposing teams, which I'm sure they'll enjoy. Uh, but, uh, I, yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for uh, what we have to come this season. Again, we're, we're putting the pieces together. We're putting in the blocks. Uh, we've talked to the entire coaching staff now. Uh, I actually just talked with uh, Coach Vibes earlier today. They had a huge win last night for the University of Illinois. Uh, Ten run ruled the number 18th ranked team in the country. Uh, in Indiana State, so Coach Vibes is, on, you know, on some good vibes right now, enjoying getting ready to go into their weekend set uh, and finishing up their Big Ten uh, slate. Uh, so the coaches are, you know, they're finishing up, they're getting ready, uh, getting ready for the summertime as well. And I mean, the the presentation, the the the, the coaching staff, and uh, we're going to start talking to players next week, and it's it's all starting to come together, my friend. Yeah, it's all starting to come together. Having a little technical difficulties on my side, but it's all good. We're all coming together. That's and, what the edit button's for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly what it's for. Um, it's going to be a great one. Glad to hear Coach Vibes. The season's finally coming all together. And there's a lot of promotions tonight. Screw City Sock Monkeys. There's going to be Rockford Peaches. There's going to be Bark in the Park. There's going to be Mini Rivet Monday. There's going to be Ladies Night. There's going to be Dollar Dog Night. I mean, and we can keep going on and on. I mean, there, there's way more. There's going to be fireworks. There's going to be fun days. There's going to be giveaways. There's going to be baseball. There is going to be baseball because it's, it's just going to be a great atmosphere. Well, and, and all of that that you described, we're 29 days away until the home opener versus the Battle Creek Battle Jacks, which is going to take place at First Community Credit Union Field, the new title sponsor it's getting for closer. the Rockford Rivets. Yep. Uh, less than a month. Uh, it is getting closer and closer. I can't wait. Can't wait for it to come on around, but – it, the, uh, the anticipation is going to kill me, Craig. I, I hope it doesn't because I need you this summer. I need you, I need you sitting next to me. So, uh, But if it doesn't kill you, and, and hopefully it doesn't, uh, also I want to let you know, too, single-game tickets are on sale right now. You can head over to rockford-rivets.nwltickets.com. Don't monkey around. Affordable tickets still available starting around $12. Yeah, it's it's gonna be great. I could have sworn I had a I had a sock monkey that I was gonna put on screen, but <laughs> couldn't find it before the show. So a little bit of a disappointment there. Don't be so, disappointed. Edit it in post, man. Edit it in post. Yeah. Just put the, put the sock monkey on both screens. And we, listen, this week you can you can change the background and just be sock monkeys if you want. It'll just well, be a whole room. <laughs> well, well, we will see. We will see. I don't want to. I don't want to overhype this episode, but. We we will see what will happen. Uh, there might be there might be a little fun editing stuff going on. You never know. Let let the mad scientist do his work because it is going to be a great episode. It's going to be a great season. I for one, I I can't believe like not only do I get to cover with you, not only do I get to cover with you and get to cover a team, the Rockford Rivets, but I also get to cover the Rockford Peaches and the Screw City Sock Monkeys. This is a three for one deal. That's going to be an interesting job interview when the guy, when the, when the person interviewing you across the table goes, tell me about the sock monkeys. <laughs> oh, you mean the sock monkeys. That, that, that's the good news 
is you don't need to clarify which sock monkeys. There's only one sock monkeys. There's only one sock monkey town. Screw city sock monkeys. Absolutely. Uh, also, want to throw this out there too. Uh, head over to Fred's Insta and Facebook. You can look up Rocker Rivets. Uh, you can also go to Linktree at Rocker Rivets, uh, where you can also find uh, information that we've talked about. You can find links to single game tickets. You can also find the links to the celebrity softball game that's taking place at the end of the summer between the Cubs and the White Sox at First Community Credit Union Field. Uh, you can also uh, check out our podcast. If I mean, if you're watching and you kind of already know, but if not, you can click on the link as well, and you can if find. You want. Yeah, if you want, you can find the link to our podcast. Uh, but all the all the bill paying links on Linktree, just look up Rock for Rivets. Yep, it's it's going to be great. I for one can't wait to get started. I know you can't wait to get out there. I know we all can't wait to get out there and cover this team. It's going to be great. A lot of great promotions and a lot of great merch as well. But feel like we're getting to the end of this one and it's been a great episode Craig it, it, it really has been and and I continue this is week five I continue enjoying talking to you and uh putting our heads together and coming up with ideas and and fun things that we're gonna do to entertain the fans of Rockford this summer the marketing team's doing a really great job we've highlighted that here today in this episode uh the Jersey Knights the the fun nights the family nights uh also don't forget about the ladies ladies night uh all of that exciting. Uh, and I, like I said, I can't wait 29 nights away. Uh, we're going to be there a little bit before that, but the fans will get to hear us uh, uh, on our first broadcast together on May 31st. And again, all of this goodness, all of this, I mean, you just, you just dumped the bag out today of all the goodness that we got going on right now with the Rocker rivets, but also don't forget May 31st opening night at first community credit union field. You can hear Parker and I's voice over the wonderful airwaves of ESPN plus and the ESPN apps and how you listen or view ESPN, you'll be able to hear us calling game one uh, at the stadium uh, over the ESPN plus airwaves. Oh, it, it's going to be great. Can't wait for that. Can't wait to be around there with the fans. Can't wait to be on ESPN. Can't wait to get out there in Rockford. Like, like you said, we're going to be there a little early. So we get to get more, a little, get a little bit more adjusted in. Get acquainted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's going to be great to be in the booth with you, but I feel like that's it. Yet another weekend's sad. This one has to end, but good episode. Rivets out.